Hey everyone! So this is my recipe for green chili chicken taco cups. This video is brought to you by Kitchen Addicts, an amazing company with outstanding products. I'll post a link below so you can check them out for yourself. And since this is the healthier baked option, you want to start out with some muffin tins. Place six street tacos, the small variety, inside each one of the muffin cups and press down until it's firmly in place. You want it quite snug so it holds its shape after it's done baking. You want to be a little bit delicate when you're placing them in there just to make sure you don't tear the bottoms. And these little cups are great for more than just taco fillings. You could also do sloppy joes, chicken pot pie, a number of things and they're super delicious. So after you have all of your tortillas nestled into their nice little muffin tin home, you're going to want to take a second muffin tin and press it down firmly to make sure that they hold their shape. Give them a quick spritz of oil just to help them crisp up a little bit more. And then you're going to want to bake at 375 for about 10 minutes. For the filling, you're going to need two cups of cooked chicken, two tablespoons of chopped green chilies, a liberal pinch of salt, a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of black pepper, a pinch of ancho chili powder. Yeah, there are lots of pinches. It's roughly a quarter teaspoon of each. And go ahead and mix them up until they're thoroughly incorporated. Set that aside and grab one cup of salsa or Mexican rice and one cup of refried beans as well as one cup of chopped red onions. Go ahead and pull out your half sheet, giving it a playful flip, and line it with parchment paper. Then place all of your adorable little tortilla cups over top. Sprinkle in roughly one tablespoon of cheese to the bottom of each of the cups. And I chose Monterey Jack, but you can use cheddar, mozzarella, it's really up to you. This helps prevent the bottoms from getting soggy while they're baking. Then, go ahead and scoop in about one tablespoon of refried beans on top of your cheese layer. And you can certainly use whichever type of beans you like best, refried black beans, whole beans, or no beans at all. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to add one tablespoon of your Mexican or salsa rice and press it down to make room for the chicken. I definitely prefer salsa rice with this dish. A surefire recipe is one cup of medium grain rice, rinsed, one cup of chicken broth, a half cup of cantina salsa, you can use homemade or store bought, and a liberal pinch of salt and cumin. You just bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat, cover, and simmer for 20 minutes. Easy peasy. <laughs> and yes, I did just say easy peasy. <laughs> Next. Fill the remainder of the cup with your chicken mixture. You want to make sure that it's level with the rim of the tortilla cup just to give a little bit of room for the extra goodies and toppings that are going to go on after. One of these toppings is the chopped red onions. It's a personal favorite of mine for Mexican dishes. It's milder, sweeter, and adds a beautiful pop of color. However, if you don't have one, any variety will work. And after that, you're going to want to add a liberal sprinkling of cheese to each of the cups. Again, you can choose whichever cheese you like best. And if you're feeling especially adventurous, I would definitely recommend Cotija. If you like a bit more zing and heat, you can add pickled jalapenos over top. But if heat's not really your thing, then pickled radishes or red onions are equally as delicious. Then just pop your adorable little taco cups back in the oven at 375 for about 10 minutes. And for some extra richness, top them with sour cream and garnish with cilantro. And then, enjoy!